So I've measured out my part A and my part B, and we found it to be about a little less than a gallon of material, about three quarters of a gallon. Hey, and don't forget to take out the volume of your piece. You figure the volume of the box to figure the rubber, but also you need to guesstimate or either get a hard measurement and volume of the piece that we're going to overcoat and make a mold out of. So in this case, I kind of figured that it was about a quart worth of material for the master, and so the outside is going to be about three quarters of a gallon. So I used my flat spatula, not a round or square spatula, and I did my first mix in my primary bucket. I pour it in here. Now I'm not going to vacuum this rubber because in this case it's a block mold and the material, the TrueCast 40, is slow enough in its gel time to allow the bubbles to move up and away from the piece. So we won't have any compromising uh, bubbles on the piece. Okay, so I pour it to my second bucket and it looks good. I'm going to scrape the sides and I don't have to do as much mixing as I did in my primary. So it looks like we're ready. And remember the clock starts when A and B go together, so don't uh, wait. It's time to pour it over. So I'm going to take my time and I'm going to pour around the piece to let the liquid rubber push the air away from the piece. Take my time here. Okay. So you really just don't want to dump it over the piece. You want to gradually bring the rubber up so that you maneuver the rubber into all the nuances of the piece. Don't forget your silicone spray, because if you do, don't do that, it's a sure bet that urethane rubber will bond to whatever you're trying to uh, make a master of. So we've just about got it. Here it comes. Remember, we want to end it at least a, a quarter to a half inch thicker than the piece is. And... All right, looks like the math was good. Just to the top. Okay. That's it. We're going to stand by and watch the mold for a little bit to see if we have any leaks. Looks like we're doing okay. We're going to leave the mold alone overnight, 24 hours, and then tomorrow we're going to take it apart and show you how to use the mold. So it's been 24 hours and our mold has set up. And now it's time to take the mold out of the mold box. The mold box was made of styrene sheet, 0 .080, styrene sheet that was simply snapped and glued together with cyanoacrylic and the instant set adhesive. And so now it's time to take it out. Now we're going to destroy the mold box when we take it out. We're going to crack it out, but you can see it's a one-time use and it comes out rather quickly. So snap the edges off. And it comes off fairly clean. And pull the bottom off. And there you have it. There's the bottom side of our piece. And now I'm going to flex this and get it out. Okay, so we have the, the actual rubber mold out of the mold box, and now we're going to liberate the master. We've kind of got it started. I'm going to give it a little tug, and there you go. So there's the master, and there's the finished negative mold made from TrueCast 40.